Praise the Lord. We continue with prayer and the ministry of prevailing prayer. And we are continuing with our subject on the corporate prayer. And today we go into the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 18. Now here the Apostle Paul is requesting for the saints to pray for him. To pray for the saints, for the ministers of the gospel. And he says, praying always with all prayer and supplication. In the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. One of the weapons of warfare, you know, in that chapter, Ephesians chapter 6, we are talking about the spiritual warfare, putting on the armor of God. And one of the weapons of attack, offense, is prayer. Prayer is, an op, is a weapon of offense. It is powerful when saints come together to pray. And particularly to pray. Do you know of saints anywhere that are being persecuted? We need to come together. You don't have to be, you don't, they don't have to be members of your denomination. If there is a saint anywhere being persecuted, it is the body of Christ being persecuted. So when you hear about that, let us all gather together and pray that those saints will be kept and that the Lord will give them grace. If there are saints anywhere going through distress of any kind, whether it's famine, whether it's drought, whether it's persecution because of their faith, let us pray for all the saints always, everywhere, through prayer and supplication. Now, a supplication, another version will use the word petition. To petition is to quote the word of God and remind God of what his word says. One, like if a man of God is in danger, one of the scriptures that you can pray for, you can invoke as a petition is this. God says in his word, do my prophets no harm. Touch not my anointed ones. So let us pray that God will protect his servants. That no harm will befall the anointed ones of God. That no one will touch them because they are anointed of the Lord God Almighty. Isn't this amazing, beloved? This is what God is speaking to us today. We have a duty to remain Con and I like it. He says praying in the spirit. Now when, when he says praying in the spirit. Simply means praying in tongues. Praying in tongues. When you come to a point where. You know that you may not have all the knowledge about everything. But when you pray in tongues. When you pray in tongues. When you pray in tongues. You are praying in the spirit. You are speaking mysteries to God. You, you, that the devil doesn't understand that you even as an individual have no knowledge about. But for as long as your mind is on a particular thing that you are praying for. And you, 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 you pray in tongues. That is the direction. Let's say for example. If my, in my mind is I'm praying for peace and stability of the country called Kenya. And I'm praying and I come to a point where I just feel, let me just pray in tongues. I'm praying for Kenya, but I'm praying in spirit. It is very important. You, you know the agenda. It, I'm praying for Kenya. I'm praying for peace, for national healing and national reconciliation. But I may not know what to do in everything. So I just go and pray in tongues. I am praying in tongues. I'm praying in tongues. And as I pray in tongues and then petition God, friend, I can assure you that prayer is powerful. And, I want, and, and you can imagine what if saints come and pray together in spirit. You can imagine the roar. And you can imagine the synergy that comes from that unity. You can imagine the power of that prayer. And God will always honor his word because he says, when two agree on anything and pray, it shall be done. 
And God says in his word, I am watching over my word to perform it. That is Jeremiah 1, 12. I am watching over my word to perform it. If you and I pray the word of God, God is going to honor his word. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory and honor. We ask that, Lord, you help us to remain steadfast and to pray according to your will. Help each one of us to pray and to walk in your ways and to fulfill the destiny you have for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Spiritual nourishment, click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video.